What is up guys, my name is Frostfang, and as I told you guys, I'm going to be bringing anime to my channel a lot more, and as I told you guys in my previous video, which was my Q&A video, uh, I said I was going to be watching that manga known as K-Project, and I have a Netflix account, so I finally was able to watch K-Project, so I just decided that I wanted to do an anime review on K-Project. So now K-Project is a really great anime, it has one of the best cinematics I've ever seen in an anime, and it has a really nice color to it, it's also one of the best looking animes I've ever seen. Hence, the anime was made in 2012. So I finally watched it. It's a kind of short anime, just like most of the anime that are out there. Uh, it's only uh, 13 uh, episodes long. But I really like the anime. Uh, at first, when I was watching it, it had a really slow pace to it, so I kind of didn't like it, and I thought it was kind of boring. But I kept on watching the anime, so uh, I kind of started to fall in love with it. And uh, Ado Ninja Storm HD recommended the anime to it to me. So yeah, I think I already said that. But yeah, anyways. K Project was a really great anime, hence the name K Project was K, I think, standing for King Project, which was the people were trying to find out who the actual Silver King is, which, spoiler alert, was Shiro, the guy that is the main character in the actual anime, who you meet in the beginning of the anime itself. So the anime, like I said, had really great visuals and very great action scenes, and I really like the storyline as to how there were kings and stuff like that. There were seven kings to be exact. Um, we've only seen, I think, maybe four. We've seen the Silver King, the Gold King, the Blue King, and the Red King, which is Makoto, hence the dude who died at the end of the, of the episode. Uh, episode 13 he was impaled through the chest um yes but it's a really great anime and i recommend it to anybody who likes uh very cinematic animes that are have really great visuals and are pretty much looking for action uh, unfortunately this isn't a romance anime so you won't be finding any romance here so sorry if you're in that romance stuff you're not gonna like this anime at all but <laughs> um as far as that goes uh, like i said if you're in the action uh type of anime like me um, you will really like this anime. It has a it has a kind of different feel to it though, because I haven't seen any any other anime that has a very similar feel to this anime. This anime has its own set of uh, action or emotions or whatever. And whoever created this anime itself, um, I forgot the name to it, guys. My bad. But I will be having information down below in the description. But whoever created this anime, um, or the pretty much editors of this anime, they did a great job. Um, with the editing of this anime itself I know quite a little bit about editing so I can kind of tell if there was a lot of time put into it I'm not trying to brag or anything but like I said guys this is a really great anime uh, has some very great visuals and uh, I really like the characters in these an in the anime such as the Blue King um, the Red King Mikoto um, Shiro who is known as Adolf uh, Weisman um, aka the Silver King the First King the Gold King which who was his lieutenant um, it just has a really great storyline to it guys um, it has kind of like a little twist at the end of it as well. It was just a really great anime, and I, I hated the fact that it was uh, really short. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be like a this is gonna be like by the way, guys, it's gonna be like a new series I do. It's like five minute anime reviews. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep the video as much as I can at, at five minutes. But like I said, it was a really great anime, guys. Uh, I like the abilities that the characters had actually. Um, as far as uh, reviewing, I have to get on some negative stuff in the anime as well. Um, some of the characters um, in the anime I felt were kind of incomplete and they kind of didn't explain enough about them and also in the anime there was a guy named Fushimi and he actually uh, used to be with the Red King Mikoto but he betrayed them he went to the blue side and uh, pretty much in this anime the antagonist was the colorless king who basically was able to jump bodies and jump bodies and um, impersonate people pretty much which is how Shiro became a targeted person in the anime itself so my thing that I really didn't like with the anime um, was the pace kind of slowed down and sped up but other than that um, it was it was a really great anime so I would give it a 9 out of a 10 um, but uh, like I said with Fushimi uh, I didn't really understand how he had the power of red and blue but he wasn't as strong of a character as he should have been um, because the colorless king kept on talking about how he wanted to take over more than one king so I just thought it was kind of weird how Fushimi actually had both powers like the red and blue but he didn't really seem as powerful as he really should have been should have been I guess it was just like a kind of way to make him a cool character but the same way he had to be kind of a sideline character but anyways guys this has been Frost Frank Gaming Anime and Manga I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever anime review on my channel subscribe if you're new to the channel like if you like the video and comment if you have any questions and i will see you guys in the next one peace